Hi, thank you for watching Scripture Explorers. We love being able to teach the scriptures and help families understand them better. If you want to help us keep growing and sharing, please subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, and share our videos with friends and family. We also appreciate your donations. You can scan the QR code below or visit scriptureexplorers.com to donate today. Hi, welcome back to Scripture Explorers. I'm James. And I'm Aria. And we're the Scripture Explorers. Do you two like working in a garden? Yeah. I do it sometimes with my grandma and grandpa. Yeah, I like to pick raspberries. I love to pick berries. You too, don't you, Peter? I sure do. I love working on my garden. Did you know we talk a lot about gardens in the scriptures? Really? Oh, yes. Especially in Doctrine and Covenants. Heavenly Father and Jesus sometimes use gardens as a way to explain things. Just like a good gardener, God has to do a lot of work to help us learn and grow. Sometimes this means telling us hard things. There was one time in particular where Joseph Smith and Martin Harris had made a pretty bad choice. Let's take a quick peek at our restoration timeline to see where we are. Joseph Smith had the first vision in 1820. He got the golden plates in 1827 and this story happened just one year later in 1828 in a place called Harmony, Pennsylvania. Martin Harris had a wife who was not very happy with him. Martin had spent a lot of time and money to help Joseph Smith with the Book of Mormon, and she didn't like that. People also didn't like the Harris family as much as they used to because they supported Joseph. Martin wanted to show her some of what he and Joseph had been working on. Joseph prayed about it, and Heavenly Father told him no. He prayed over and over for it. Finally, the Lord said he could. Martin took 116 pages of the Book of Mormon to his wife. While Martin had them, the pages were lost. It was a sad and hard time for Joseph, and Heavenly Father told him he had made a big mistake. He told him that he should not have been afraid of men, but should have trusted in God. But God's work could not be frustrated, and he was willing to forgive Joseph and Martin if they repented. He's always willing to forgive us when we sin. When the time was right, Joseph was able to start translating the plates again. What was on the pages that were lost? We don't know everything that was on them. We do know a lot of it thanks to the writings of Nephi. But because of this choice that Martin and Joseph made, we missed out on having more of the Book of Mormon. But in section 4, we learned some good choices made by Joseph Smith's father, Joseph Smith Sr. He wanted to do work for the Lord. He wanted to work in Heavenly Father's garden. That's how people refer to the world sometimes. Joseph Smith taught him about what was needed to serve Heavenly Father. What are some tools you need to work in the garden? A shovel. Some gloves. My grandpa has a tractor. Those are some good examples. Well, to serve God, we also need some tools. And here, Joseph taught us about them. We need to have faith, hope, charity, and love. We also need virtue, knowledge, patience, and a few other tools that help us to be more like Heavenly Father and Jesus. All these things that Joseph taught to his father, we sometimes talk about as being important for missionaries, but they're important for all of us who want to serve God. There's one other thing that good gardeners know. Every plant is different. God knows each of us are different, and our faith needs different things. In 1829, Martin Harris's wife was upset with him and Joseph again. She told everyone that Joseph was lying about having the plates of gold. Martin Harris asked if he could see them. He wanted to know they were real. Did he get to see them? When the time was right, three men were called who were able to see the plates. They are called the Three Witnesses. If you look in the front of the Book of Mormon, you'll still see their names and testimonies included with the book. But before Martin could see the plates, God taught him that faith is more important than seeing and that if people did not have faith, they would not believe, even if they were able to see the plates. When the time came, Martin Harris was able to see the plates of gold. So you can see that just like your grandpa is a good gardener, Heavenly Father is a master gardener, helping each of us to grow in life. It's time for Explorer's Spotlight. Hi, Scripture Explorers! I'm Millie. I'm six. I'm Heidi. I'm five. Our favorite scripture story is when Nephi built a boat. God told Nephi to 
build a boat. But Nephi's brother thought bro he couldn't, so they made fun of him. God showed Nephi where to find wood and how to make tools. And, and this, and he made the boat and his family sent safely. We, we love, love the scriptures, scriptures boys. Bye. Bye. If you'd like to do an Explorer Spotlight, let us know in the comments. I hope you learned a lot today. Remember to subscribe and share. Also, if you want to take your family scripture study to new levels, check out our scripture study helps at the QR code below or visit scriptureexplorers.com.